And I heard, as it were, the voice of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw a white dog. And the name upon it was... Really? Luna? And hell followed with her. In 1989, Paramount Pictures needed a song for its film adaptation of the Stephen King horror thriller Pet Cemetery. New York punk band The Ramones was chosen for such a task, and eventually there would come a modern Halloween classic, Pet Cemetery. But before that, here was the first take. <sighs> Joey, you ready? Yeah, man. I got this. I want to be buried in a pet cemetery. I want to see my friends again. I want to be buried in a pet cemetery. I want to see my friends again. <sighs> no, man, that doesn't quite work. Why would you want to be buried in a pet cemetery? Because, uh, all my friends are there, man. <sighs> yeah, man, that's weird. No, it ain't. Oh, my gosh. Look at all this food. Look at it. Emily Keith must have sent us some food. I got the address wrong, sent it to the wrong place. Everyone ate my food. Those vultures. You want action? Well, this fall at Hound's Hideaway, we have action. We have photo booths. Wicked and Santa Claus are coming soon. We've got celebrities. Hey, y'all, it's Jerry the Bulldog. Do other doggy daycares have Jerry the Bulldog? We got the reincarnation of President Chester Arthur. And no, he's not on your ballot. We got koozies. And they never sell. We got whatever this thing is. It's never been used, but it's going to be here long after we're all gone. And we've got Steve. Have at him, ladies. So, uh, Remington, uh, we just need to do this uh, exit interview uh, before you leave. Um, just answer honestly uh, with the first thing that pops into your head, okay? Okay. Uh, so, the first one, what was your favorite thing about working at Hound's Hideaway? Honestly, a lot of the friends that I made here, uh, whenever I first came in, I was told that like everyone was more introverted and being an extrovert, I might be an outcast. But honestly, I was able to, I guess, wiggle my way into everyone's heart and make a lot of friends while I was here. All right. Uh, the second question is, uh, who do we need to talk to at UCA about stealing all of our Hounds Hideaway employees? Uh, you can take that up with that, uh, President Davis guy, I guess. Probably him. I, he's the highest, so I imagine if he doesn't want to answer, it'll just waterfall down somewhere. Okay. 
Uh, if you had to describe Haley Mannion in one word, what would it be? Powerful. Okay. That's the word I would go with. Powerful. If uh, Garrison were an animal, what animal would Garrison be? You know what? That's a great question. Um, I feel like the answer that a lot of people would go to is like bear, just because he's got a lot of facial hair and he's a tall, stout, built man. Uh, but you know what? I think Garrison would probably be, I don't know, like an orangutan. Okay. Uh, not only just because of the, the hair color, but have you seen those videos of the, the orangutan like pointing? And just being super chill. Yeah. Garrison's just very chill. All right, now that uh, now that you're leaving, uh, how do you actually feel about Joseph? How do I actually feel about Joseph? No, I think Joseph's cool. Uh, Come I think on now, don't lie to us. <laughs>